Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some imitation game replays. I was able to defeat imitation game with only gunboat energy. I just want to point out that I bit my tongue at the very back, so it kind of hurts when I talk. So if I sound weird today and stutter a little, that is why. Um, I'm, doing, I'm trying my best to push through it. Um, but yeah, I defeated Imitation Game with all Gumbo Energy. I didn't think it would work, but it ended up working, so I was like, okay, I have to make a video on it. So, I'm just gonna be showing you a couple replays, then we're gonna jump into some Operation Attacks. I haven't done an Operation video in so long, so it's, it's gonna be so nice to do another Operation video on the main task force, or in the main task force. And I just remembered, I have to hit some bases right after this video, so I don't get kicked from my own task force. Is that even possible? I don't know. I feel like a few people it get might actually kick me. <laughs> no, I'm I'm the leader of all. If I wasn't a leader, I wonder if he would kick me if I miss an attack. That would be awful. I have missed a couple attacks in the past, and it feels awful. Um, but I try to be better now. But I might want to check just to make sure that I haven't missed one yet. Uh, but anyway. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy, I'm mean, uh, pretty easy showing you these replays, it takes a couple seconds for each stage. I defeated all the way up to stage 5, I uh, defeated stage 5 with gumbo, just uh, barrages and artilleries. Stage 6 was critters, then stage 7 I used 2 attacks to take down 200, no it was like 3, no it was 200 like 20,000 HP, which is quite a lot. Now there were no shields. Um, Oh, why am I? Let's go times four because this is way too boring. Just going one by one. There was uh, no shield generators, which makes a difference because I don't have to take those out with gumbo energy. Um, stage six was probably the hardest, hardest stage out of all of them. I basically cleared all the defenses or pretty much all the defenses in range of my critters here to just try to get critters down at the back. Took down that rocket launcher with gumbo energy. And it's just an easy little park. Sorry for zooming in and out so much. Uh, we do have the grappler, which was uh, picking off my critters one by one, but I was able to do it. And now stage seven, guys, just easy. Uh, there was two. What was 180 plus 57,000 uh, in health boost. So I don't know how much that equates to, but I was able to take a little more than halfway off uh, for the first attack and the second attack. I was able to finish it off. So there we go, eight attacks. I was able to do imitation game with Gumbo Energy. And this is after the update where they brought it down from 10 to eight attacks. Okay, time to show some operation hits. Now, we have been trying to defeat Deep Cut. I haven't made a video in a little while, but we've been trying to defeat Deep Cut as a 25 man once again. Now, I'm not gonna show you every single attack. I'm gonna be showing you the highlights. And uh, we'll start with yesterday's op because no notable things appeared in today's op so far. And I just wanna show you a couple attacks because there were, there were some pretty crazy hits uh, that we had going on. So, first of all, I wanna show you Boomtown because this is the first time we defeated Boomtown in two attacks, I mean no, in three attacks or less. Um, usually it takes us a lot more, but we were able to do it in, well, no, it took four, but one of them was a breezy. Now, when I say breezy, I mean accidentally hit attack with scorchers and heavy zookas trained up. So it does, I don't know, it, it counts, but also it doesn't count. I'm sorry, MB, MB came back to our task force, uh, and I'm, I'm just, just so happy to have him back, but he had a little fail, and he accidentally hit attack with his normal troop layout, loadout, and he said I'd give him, <laughs> he said I'm mean to him on video because I say his attack strategy is bad, which it is, um, or just, it, it's weird, it's a weird attack strategy, he uses like two boats of scorchers, you'll see it in a second, you'll see like two boats of scorchers, uh, and a couple, two boats of scorchers, like two boats of heavies, and the rest zookas. So Lurcher uh, led off the base. He was able to clear the left shield generators and took a decent amount off the rocket launchers, which was nice. Um, and yeah, so I thought this base could go down in two attacks, and here's how I would have done it without even clearing the left hand side. We would have went straight in. I said. AZ, but Warriors would have been better for the first attack. 
take down uh, the rocket launchers of warriors, then hit the core and burn through 9.5 million HP on the core um, with all of our shields still up. But I think this was a better option. Now, I want to show you Smithy's attack because Smithy had one of the better attacks. Now, keep in mind, this attack was on a boosted. He didn't boost a single statue. So what he does is he lands Everspark and he's going to take down this rocket launcher right here. Uh, with with universal remotes, he didn't need to get right up next to it. He could have saved the smoke, but you know what? On boosted guys, it, he was able to do it, which is insane. It just <laughs> I've watched this attack so many times. And I just want to. I I love watching this hit because this hit was beautiful, guys. It, it it was. So he gets over here to the first rocket launcher. We'll put it on times two. Warriors are kind of slow. Well, that's not true. They're the fastest combination. So he takes out one rocket launcher at a time we'll put on times one and all the time he's shocking the next group of rocket launchers and then he's dropping critters for the far group of rocket launchers and then the last ones he doesn't need critters and he's just gonna take it down and it was i loved this hit because i think from now on we're gonna be doing uh, boomtown this way left side clear because before we never really knew how to do a boomtown hit but smithy doesn't stop there guys he doesn't stop there he actually flares over here to the right shield generators and he's gonna take both or all three shield gen generators down which is insane he was able to clear the rocket launchers clear the lone rocket launcher here clear the back rocket launchers, and clear the right hand shields. So at two attacks, we have the back cleared, we have the shields gone, and we're ready to hit the core. Now I just want to point out that this Boomtown was one of the easier Boomtowns you'll ever see. This is MB, his weird, weird loadout, but I mean, it works for him, so okay. And uh, he accidentally hit attack, guys. I just want to point that out. Uh, that's what he said, and maybe he just said that because he failed, but I don't think so. I, I, I do believe he accidentally hit attack. He knew that you had to bring AZ. Uh, I don't even know why I'm showing you this attack. I don't want to publicize his fail because it, it's, it, like, it hurts him more than it hurts any of us. We weren't able to complete the op, uh, but it wasn't because of this attack. We, we just had a bunch of other fails and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, Scorchers in operations. I, I think Scorchers in operations, like, if you're using them this way, they may be even worse than tanks. No, tanks are still worse in operations, but he wasn't able to do much. Uh, we could have done it without that hit. Uh, he cleared 25 force points, but wait, nope. I don't want to show you that attack yet. I might in the future. I want to show you Jimmy's attack because Jimmy came in. And followed the instructions and actually hit with AZ. And look at that landing, guys. Jimmy needs to learn how to land AZ. He did it for today's op. He did it for this op. And yeah, so Jimmy. Usually, I'm going to be attacking on Jimmy's uh, account. But this time, he was attacking. So there's only about 800,000 HP on the core. So it's a pretty easy just hit. His flare runs out, and I don't think Jimmy knew that. Then he just flares to the core and just shocks everything and hopes for the best. Not what you want to do, guys, but he was able to get the job done. So we did Boomtown in three attacks or four if you count that little attack fail. So pretty interesting stuff. So my Connie fold attack uh, for this op was, it was okay, it wasn't amazing. Uh, there's 1.7 million HP, and with a guy that has uh, three damage statues trying to get a fourth, uh, for a guy that has only three damage statues, it's going to be a hard hit. It, it's, I don't even think I can deal that kind of damage. Now, if you, what I was doing is, you don't really need to see my walk but I'll kind of keep it in range. I was trying to get in between these boom cannons back up here, because if I can do that, I counted uh, one, two, three uh, shocks. And I believe I was able to get it down to two, not in my attack, but I counted two. I don't know why I counted two, because there's definitely three shocks. Um, there's three shocks, and if you want, to, okay, so what am I doing? I haven't. It's been like two days since I've seen this attack, so if I seem kind of like I... Okay. Okay. I mean, it was decent. I just can't deal enough damage. Kind of peaked. I uh, messed up on my shocks a little bit, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, and then we had one more guy come in, Lurcher, the beast himself. Uh, I took 
about 1 million off. I believe it was a little under a million, so his attack was technically better than mine. But I believe I had to clear a couple mines, so maybe that's why. Yeah, I, I had to clear a, a, a couple mines. I flare down, hit, or no, Lord Chair flares down, hits the core, and he has enough damage, he can do it. I'm trying to get a fourth uh, gumbo, uh, no, damage statue. What I'm going to do is for this account, guys, I'm going to get rid of my, my health uh, statue. Masterpiece. Again, never damage. So I will have a 4 to 5 ratio, and I think that's going to be okay for operations. Then on my mini account, my confusion account... I'm going to do a uh, 6 gunboat energy, 4 damage. So no uh, no power stone chance, no health, none of that. Um, and I, I'll have a problem with mines at first. But I think after I get over the initial shock of having no health statue, I'll be fine. I'll show you Armadillo just because, you know, Armadillo is one of those easy op hits. <laughs> and it's a solo, so at least we don't have someone that fails on Armadillo. Because that would be awful because armadillo is super easy but he brings a smithy the man uh he whoa he lost wait 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 <laughs> did he lose all of, i haven't seen these attacks by the way i believe he lost all his zookas at the very end by the shock launchers or did he kill them with like a barrage uh he flares back we'll put on times one and a half so the shock on the sniper towers is about to run up. It runs up. The shock launchers target his Zookas. He takes it down. And, wow, that was close, honestly. That was close. The heavies could have taken down maybe like 10,000 more HP uh, if his Zookas did die, but that was pretty close attack. I'm trying to show you those amazing opens and some awesome solos, guys. So if you don't see yourself in the video, just... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to show some pretty sick attacks and uh yeah so fluffy i believe fluffy takes down the back shields back here but like i said before i haven't seen this attack uh he accidentally flares to the cannon uh, usually fluffy has a pretty good uh opening for this so he's basically basically sorry he's basically taking down uh, the shock launcher and nope he wasn't able to get the shot oh he was taking down the grappler so he could drop grenadiers on the left hand side and we're gonna put on times four and just watch them go to work and he's gonna use his energy to take down machine guns back there I don't know how much HP the shield generator has but would it have been better to take down the shield generator unless uh, three five no he's done I was uh, thinking maybe he's going to try to do the walk with AZ, but indeed, he, was, he is not. I'm going to stop that one, and I want to show you a couple operations ago. Hopefully, it's still up here. Okay, we're not... Never mind. We're not going to show you. I can't find it. It's, it's off the charts. Um, okay, so we have Swag Beach coming in here with the Callisto solo. <laughs> um, this was a pretty easy Callisto. Get over here, uh, nine o'clock screen clock, and it's a easy. I don't know if that's in range or not. So it's like a, a three to four shock hit. One smoke over here. Uh, I don't want to seem like I'm a pro at easy, guys. You guys know I'm not a pro, so don't take like the paths we take too seriously, and don't like say, okay, well, uh, Christian said some fancy words, so he knows what he's talking about. But no, I've been trying to get better. Uh, with the terminology, so that does not make me a pro. I am still pretty bad with AZ, but I am definitely getting better. Uh, looking at solos. Solos. I haven't seen this attack. I haven't seen most of these attacks, but this was a pretty hard Java. Uh, Smithy said on the notes it was a solo, but does this look like a solo, guys? How on earth would you do this as a solo? Uh, so we got Jake coming in here because it's a, it's like a one, two, three, four shot hit. And I don't think anyone would have the gumbo energy for it. Um, he does do the four shot hit. And he was, okay, it might have been a solo. I might have looked like an idiot. But that was a beautiful hit. He got back there. 
and was able to take the chord down a lot. So I take back what I was saying. It is a possible solo. If you had, uh, wait, did he even boost his damage? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think he boosted his, he might have boosted his damage masterpiece, but if he has, wait, does General Jake have damage statues? Yes. I don't know if he boosted his damage <laughs> guardians, but he might have been able to do that. I don't know. Okay. We have uh, angry, uh, angry Kevin with the finish. We had a couple more fails there. You guys, this is the problem. We have people that try stuff that they cannot physically complete no matter what. Like they... Like Jimmy, we'll take Jimmy, no hate on Jimmy, but Jimmy tries to do these hits and he thinks just because he has boosted statues and uh, fully maxed out troops, he thinks that he does have the damage or the energy to take down any base, which is not true. Jimmy, you still need skill. You can have the best boosted statues, but if you have no skill, you're not going to be able to complete it. So this is actually the first time we were able to defeat Redline. So I'm going to show you that. Now, I haven't watched any of these replays here, but Sala going with the opening. I haven't seen someone complete this opening successfully. And I think he did a pretty nice job, guys. He was able to take down, what was it, four to five uh, rocket launchers off it. So I will show you Oscar here. Uh, going with the next opening hit going with an attack similar to Salas this attack looks weird guys But it's, it's just the way it has to go. It's just how it works. It, this is how this is how you do the red line open We got Colonel 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 trademark. I, I don't know if he's a hop. No, he wasn't a hopper, but I think he left so he's going to get his hero up here, and this is going to be the last base I'm going to show you in today's video, guys. If you want to join... Oh, man, that stinks. Dang. Was able to take down one, but missed the other one. That is not good. Okay. Um, and he wasn't even really... He took down a couple. He did a fairly nice job. One more should clear the shock launcher and the rocket launchers. So we got Fluffy. We had all of our big hitters hitting this base because all of our mini hitters were able to complete the lower uh, operation bases. And is this, oh man, I think that we got Redline and Maze and Strat, no, do we get Strategize? I don't know if we got Strategize or not. Wait, oh wait, I didn't see Fluffy's full attack. So this was a deep cut, guys. This deep cut was awful, but we did very well for a deep cut like this in the past we would have been able to take down all the other bases but redline but maze uh, but cooker those bases were off limits for our task force we couldn't defeat redline maze or cooker like we've tried multiple times and we just can't defeat them uh we but now well wait i i believe we have defeated oh yeah we've defeated cooker in the Cooker is a fairly easy one. Um, it just takes a lot of attacks to defeat a cooker base, and we are nowhere near that skill level. So, yes, we got Maze, Redline, that ugly Java. Uh, we got, I believe, a Blue Water that was pretty ugly. What are we doing? Why is the whole. Okay, enough. Okay. Why was the whole thing good? Um, we got a Blue Water. We got uh, Conifold, Ballast, Coleso, and that is it. So uh, next red line hit, we got Ikit coming in here. He's going to do a uh, clear. He's going to get his hero back here, and he's going to try. I, I think he's going to try to get this rocket launcher and this rocket launcher. Oh, missed. That's a hard. I can't. I That would be awful. He was able to get his hero. Nice. That's what you want to do. And he's going to take down that rocket launcher. So we, we uh, cleared all the rocket launchers uh, that can hit this up here at 12 o'clock-ish. And now all we need to do is... Wait, how many boats? Oh, he dropped all of It doesn't seem like it. Those mortars, man. Ouch. That, that's awful. Uh, he's going to get back up here. And he's going to clear some power cells, get a couple more energy, and just clear... Uh, uh, a park, a snipe, 
if you will. And this red line, we actually did surprisingly well against it. And I'm super proud of my guys in the rejects, redux here. We were able to clear all of that so far. So we don't even need to clear that rocket launcher left over and two more. Oh, three more hits. It took us a lot of hits. And I don't even, yeah, we don't even need to clear that last rocket launcher. We don't even need, to, we didn't even need to clear those rocket launchers. Um, because some, some teams will actually try to take down the shields with like a hookah or something like that. They'll spend like two attacks. We watched a lot of videos about Redline. They'll try to take down the, the shields and then just try to hit the core from the back. Uh, but that's not what we wanted to do. <laughs> We're better at clearing. Clearing a snipe than just staying there. So this is not what you want to do. So Jimmy had a fail. You want to you wanna clear a snipe if you have to do a shield burner. Don't try to hit the core and shock at everything. Jimmy had a fail like that. So uh, we pretty much know what the next couple attacks are. Just burning a shield. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video, guys. I want to show you what Maze looked like. And that was our maze. We sabotaged so much on it. Uh, but yeah, it was a top maze, guys. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, tell me below if you want more reject redux videos. And I hope you enjoyed that little invitation. Really special at the very beginning. We'll talk to you guys in the next Beach video. Bye.